people welcome back to yard and abroad tv please remember to hit the subscribe button turn on post notification like comment share and subscribe as i said if you're not familiar with this channel we talk about issues in jamaica the caribbean and the whole world people Wagwan people, Wagwan, welcome back to my YouTube channel people. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for liking, commenting and subscribing on my videos people. Please remember, it never go unnoticed. I truly appreciate it. Big up in yourself. So yeah, today people, we are going to talk about this Netflix documentary that is trending right now on Netflix people. It's called American Murder, The Family Next Door. And I'm familiar with this case because I remember hearing about it. And I was thinking to myself, like, can somebody be this heartless, people? Can somebody be this heartless to murder them wife and also an unborn child along with two of his daughters as well people we are talking about this brother named chris watt people crazy crazy brother i'm mean, not gonna lie like i've never seen something more gruesome than this people i'm not gonna may I give you know, a breakdown or details on what happened for all the people who haven't watched the documentary people Returning from a business trip in the early hours of August 13, 2018, Shannon and Chris got into a heated argument at their home in Frederick, Colorado. After Chris confessed to having an affair and that he wanted a divorce, Shannon, who was also 15 weeks pregnant, then went on to threaten Chris by stating that he would never see his children again. Shortly after this, Chris started to strangle Shannon, eventually killing her people. So this is Chris Watts and Shannon Watts people. These are the two couples. These are the couple that we're talking about and what happened to Shannon and her kids people. And Chris Watt is responsible for their murder. So it goes on to say, whilst this was happening, Bella, his four-year-old daughter, walked into the room and asked him, what are you doing with mommy? Chris then told Bella that mommy was feeling ill and they had to go to the hospital. He loaded Shannon's body into the car along with his two daughters who were still alive and proceeded to drive to his workplace Anadarko Petroleum. When Chris arrived there, he then started to smother his three-year-old daughter Celeste with her favorite blanket, eventually killing her and pushing her body into an oil tank located on site at his workplace. He then returned for Bella who had just witnessed him killing his sister. She said, please, daddy, don't do to me what you just did to Cece. Chris then murdered Bella and shoved her body in the oil tank. He buried Shannon in a shallow grave on the site nearby. So people, how brutal and horrific is that? Hey, people, this man murdered his wife, murdered his daughter, and the little girl, her daughter is crying out saying, Daddy, please don't do to me what you just did to Cece. And the man smothered and killed his daughter, people. Like this is, yo, and the man bring the bodies to his work site, you know, people. If you tell you how evil he is, you know, bring the body to the work site. If you dump it in an oil tanker and bury her body in a shallow grave. After news spread of Chris Watts' pregnant wife, Shannon, and their two young daughters going missing, a news crew arrived at their home to interview the man who should have been an emotional wreck. However, his 
odd attitude immediately raised suspicions. Though for several days, what stuck to his story? His wife had returned home from a business trip, then promptly disappeared with their children. He admitted they had had an emotional conversation, quote unquote, the night before she left, but claimed it was nothing more. He even went as far as to tell an officer, I couldn't sleep at all last night and that he missed them throwing chicken nuggets at me, quote unquote, just hours after he murdered them in a people. Further investigation with help from the FBI revealed where the female bodies were on the oil field where Chris Watts worked. Records show the family was deeply in debt as well having declared bankruptcy a few years prior to the alleged murders. The week after the televised interview, when Chris Watts' father flew into town allegedly to confront Chris, he reportedly convinced him to turn himself into authorities. What made a complete confession on August 16, 2018? He was charged with three counts of murder and awaiting sentencing. On November 6, 2018, Watts pleaded guilty to nine charges. In exchange for his guilty plea, he was spared the death penalty on November 19, 2018. He was sentenced to five life sentences, three consecutive and two concurrent without parole. So people, a man like this deserved the death penalty. There's no ifs or buts about the situation people there is no ifs or buts somebody like this not deserve to live not deserve to be on this earth still breathing people still I eat food you look you small your family you look a daughter them precious daughter them like how can somebody be this wicked and cruel how man can can be this wicked and the man went back to the house you know and acted like everything was normal Go back at the house, clean up. When police reach there, police realize like, how is a house so clean and him have two young kids? That's suspicious right there off top. May I tell you, you're not going to have two kids and the house speak and span. Kids are going to fling toys left, right and center, people. That's, that's facts. I have young kids and me know they're going to throw stuff all over the place. So there's no way... The house supposed to be clean. So that was a sign from the FBI that they know there's something more suspicious with this brother. And the man killed his wife and two young kids and him and his unborn child. People, if you haven't watched this on Netflix, I, I urge you if you go check it out and see what kind of monster this person is. Like to me, he was having an affair. Why not just call it quits? A man basically kill him whole family for there with the missus, you know, his mistress. To me, that's what it sounds like. Him just basically kill him whole family because Shannon found out he was having an affair. And him just kill off him whole family for him did want to start like a whole new life. A man that's sick in him head, people, and not supposed to be alive right now. He should be on a chair getting electrocuted, people. This is sad upon so many levels, people. Sad upon so many levels. I'm not going to lie. This one hurt me to the core when I heard about it. I'm not going to lie, people. As a father of young kids, this hurt me to the core. It's just a very sad situation. I'm not going to lie, people. Very, very sad.